We begin with the words that were spoken and the sign that was marked upon us in our baptism. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us confess our sins in the presence of God and of one another. I confess to God before the whole company of heaven and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned by my own fault in thought, word, and deed. I pray God Almighty to have mercy on me, forgive me all my sins, and bring me to everlasting life. Almighty and merciful God, grant you healing, pardon, and forgiveness of all your sins. Amen. Sisters and brothers in Christ, beloved children of God, grace, mercy, and peace be with you all. Let us pray. Most holy God, the earth is filled with your glory, and before you angels and saints stand in awe. Enlarge our vision to see your power at work in the world, and by your grace, Make us heralds of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. A reading from Isaiah. In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord sitting on a throne, high and lofty, and the hem of his robe filled the temple. Seraphs were in attendance above him, each had six wings. With two they covered their faces, and with two they covered their feet, and with two they flew. And one called to another and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. The pivots on the thresholds shook at the voices of those who called, and the house filled with smoke. And I said, Woe is me, I am lost, for I am a man of unclean lips, and I live among a people of unclean lips. Yet my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. 
Then one of the seraphs flew to me, holding a live coal that had been taken from the altar with a pair of tongs. The seraph touched my mouth with it and said, Now that this has touched your lips, your guilt has departed and your sin is blotted out. Then I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send and who will go for us? And I said, Here am I, send me. Word of God, word of life, thanks be to God. To whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. Alleluia. you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Once, while Jesus was standing beside the lake of Gennesaret, and the crowd was pressing in on him to hear the word of God, he saw two boats there at the shore of the lake. The fishermen had gone out of them and were washing their nets. He got into one of the boats, the one belonging to Simon, and asked him to put out a little way from the shore. Then he sat down and taught the crowds from the boat. When he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, put out into the deep water and let down your nets for a catch. Simon answered, Master, we have worked all night long, but have caught nothing. Yet if you say so, I will let down the nets. When they had done this, they caught so many fish that their nets were beginning to break. So they signaled their partners in the other boat to come and help them. And they came and filled both boats so that they began to sink. But when Simon Peter saw it, he fell down at Jesus' knees saying, go away from me, Lord, for I am a sinful man. For he and all who were with him were amazed at the catch of fish that they had taken. And so also were James and John, sons of Zebedee, who were partners with Simon. Then Jesus said to Simon, do not be afraid. From now on, you will be catching people. When they had brought their boats to shore, they left everything and followed him. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. You may be seated. Dear friends, I greet you in the name of Jesus, our Savior. Amen. There is a lot going on in our gospel for today. But the words that got my attention were those of Peter. Jesus says to Peter, put out into the deep waters and let down your net for a catch. And Peter replies, Master, we have worked all night and caught nothing. You can almost hear the discouragement in his voice. We have worked all night and caught nothing. Discouragement. We all wrestle with it. Sometimes spiritually, We feel like our faith isn't as strong as it should be. Or we decide we're gonna read the Bible on a regular basis, and then so much of the times it doesn't make sense. Or we decide I'm gonna pray every day, and in a little while that discipline just kinda slips away. We can be discouraged spiritually. 
We can be discouraged sometimes in relationships. We keep investing in a relationship, and yet it doesn't seem to mend or heal or grow. Sometimes it is discouragement emotionally. No matter what we try, we just don't seem to be able to shake that anxiety that's hanging on to us or to get out from underneath that dark cloud. And pandemic, who isn't discouraged about pandemic? One thing seems to be going down and then it starts going up again. It's COVID-19 and then it's Delta and then it's Omicron and what's next? BA2 and after that who knows it is discouraging but even though Peter has been fishing all night and caught nothing Jesus says to him let down your nets and Peter does so may we follow Peter's example and be given a measure of the faith that he had so that we keep letting down our nets again and again, trusting God to fill them with the grace and mercy and strength that we need to keep going, especially when we are discouraged. I have had a number of transforming moments in my ministry And one of them was when I served as a chaplain on the Mississippi Gulf Coast after Hurricane Katrina. I saw that Lutheran disaster uh, response was saying they need chaplains. They needed people to clean up and to rebuild and all of that, but they were also looking for chaplains. And so I contacted Bishop Haugen and he gave me a recommendation and that's where I ended up. My ministry was one of pastoral care. Each morning I would receive a list of folks, phone numbers and addresses. Most of the phone numbers didn't go through that I tried. And then I would be sent out for the day to tend to these people. And I still have my pastoral care file from that, those weeks down on the Gulf Coast where I kept my notes We did like verbatims where we recorded what we said in our interactions with each other so that we could reflect on them and pray about them. And I especially remember Josette. When I visited her family, their home was uh, uninhabitable. The water, the storm surge had come almost up to the roof of this two-story house. And they were living in a FEMA trailer that was parked right next to the destroyed house, a FEMA trailer that leaked, by the way. She was taking care of her mother, her children, and she was in her own personal battle with the breast cancer. Many afternoons she would go and cook, and then she would serve at one of the communal meal sites in the community. I visited them, I anointed her and all of her family, we shared Eucharist together, we prayed, I even blessed that leaky old FEMA trailer. And I found that people like Josette and many others that I visited were eager, they were eager for these tangible oil, bread, wine, laying out of hands, they were eager for these tangible expressions that God's love was for them and with them and was on their behalf. But mostly, I just spent my time listening to Josette. I think that was my primary work, was to listen not just about her experience with Katrina, but her life story. It was a hard life, but it was a blessed life. It was a difficult life but a joyful life. It was a painful life in many ways, but it was a purposeful life that she lived. When I 
read today's gospel story, story, I think of Giuseppe. I asked her in one of our visit, visits, what keeps you going? What keeps you going? And she said this, each day I just be letting down my net. I just be letting down my net. Some days it comes up empty. But tomorrow I will let it down again. You can't stop letting down your net just because some days it's empty. Because others day, other days you drop it and God gives you what you need for that day. And she said, you never know what it might be. And then she said to me, I've been dropping my net. And look, today God caught me a young priest from Iowa <laughs> to come and bless our family. Life is hard. There is discouragement. Sometimes we work all night like Peter and we catch nothing. May we have some of the faith of St. Peter. May we have some of the faith of who I call St. Josette to keep letting down our nets. Honestly, sometimes they're gonna come up empty, but we don't stop letting them down because other times they will catch what we need for that day. And let us remember that we are always, always caught, each and every one of us, we are caught in the net of God's love. Amen. We confess our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. God, you promise to love us and to always hear our prayers. Open our eyes, Lord, that we might see the needs of our neighbor. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Open our hands, Lord, that we might share your gifts with others. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Open our hearts, Lord, so that we might love as you have loved us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Teach us, Lord, to bless others as you have so richly blessed us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those in any need. Lord, embrace and heal the fearful and brokenhearted, the wounded and the sick, especially those we name in our hearts before you. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for our bishops. Lord, give your wise counsel and good judgment to our bishops, Elizabeth and Amy. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God, you are abundantly generous and merciful. Bless these prayers as we offer them in the name of Jesus, the bread of life. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the earth, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, O God, sovereign of the universe. You offer us new beginnings and guide us on our journey. Lead us to your table. Nourish us with this heavenly food and prepare us to carry your love to a hungry world. In the name of Jesus, our light, amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give God thanks and praise. It is indeed right our duty and our joy that we should at all times and in all places give thanks and praise to you, almighty and merciful God, through our Savior Jesus Christ, who sharing our life lived among us to reveal your glory and love that our darkness should give way to your own brilliant light. And so with all the choirs of angels, with the church on earth and the hosts of heaven, we praise your name and join their unending hymn. Holy God, you alone are holy, you alone are God. The universe declares your praise beyond the stars, beneath the sea, within each cell, with every breath, we praise you, O God. Generations bless your faithfulness through the water, by night and day, across the wilderness, out of exile, into the future, we bless you, O God. We give you thanks for your dear son at the heart of human life, near to those who suffer beside the sinner, among the poor, with us now, we thank you, O God. On the night before he was given up to death, a death he freely accepted, he took bread and gave you thanks. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples and said, take this all of you and eat it. This is my body which will be given up for you. Do this in memory of me. When the supper was ended, Jesus took the cup. Again, Father, he gave you thanks and praise, gave the cup to his disciples and said, take this all of you and drink from it. This is the cup of my blood the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all people so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. God of life, we remember before you those of our parish whose anniversary of death we commemorate this week. Sherry, Maria, Daniel, and Norma. We rejoice in the gift of eternal life they now enjoy in heaven with you and all the saints who have gone before us. Also, remembering Jesus' love for us on the way, at the table, and to the end, we proclaim the mystery of faith. We pray for the gift of your spirit in our gathering, 
within this meal among your people throughout the world. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Together we pray as Jesus has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The peace of Christ be with you always. And peace be with you. Peace. You may be seated. Welcome you.
Let us pray. We give you thanks, gracious God, for we have eaten on the abundance of your love. Send us to bring good news and to proclaim your favor for all, strengthened with the richness of your grace in your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Loving God, bless our families and fill our homes with respect, joy, laughter, and prayer. Especially send your blessing upon Todd and Lila and their family, Don and Vicki and their family, Nancy and her family. Protect them, guide them, and deepen their love for you. We ask this through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. God who leads us in pathways of compassion, who rejoices over us and calls us by name. Bless our going out and our coming in today and forever. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Go with Jesus into a weary world, share the good news. Thanks be to God.